lovely world. So I thought this would be a good time to tell you something that I really, 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 really do miss. And it's going on roller coasters at theme parks. And I'm not just talking about Disneyland. I'm not just talking about California Adventure. I'm not just talking about Universal Studios. I'm talking about places like Not Very Far, Not as Very Far. Now I didn't go on any of the roller coasters when I went a couple of years ago. The fact of the matter is, is that I loved going on you know rides like Indiana Jones and the Curse. I can't remember what it, the actual name of the ride is. That one was one of the rides that I really liked. You know, going on the Mummy ride in Universal Studios, going on the Transformers ride in in Universal Studios, and all of that fun stuff that you could do at a theme park. And it's not just it's not just the roller coasters. For for me at Disneyland, it was about the food as well, because you were able to get churros and you know corn dogs and stuff like that. And now I have not been to a theme park in probably four or five years now. Maybe it's been a little bit short a shorter period of time than that. But the last time I went was 2015, I believe, or maybe it was a little bit after that. I'm not 100% sure on when, maybe it was 2018, 2017, something like that. And I would love nothing more to go back to, to Disneyland and California Adventure and, and Universal Studios and, and here in California. But don't not get me wrong. I would love nothing more to go to all the parks in, in Florida as well. I haven't been to Disney World and and Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom and all of those places since I was four years old. I am now 31 years old. That was 27 years ago since I last went to Disney World. And a lot of, th a lot of things have changed. They have Avatar World now. I mean, there's just so much stuff that's different now. And Universal Studios in Florida and all of those. And it's not just that, that theme park. I'm sure there are other theme parks that would that are that exist in the United States that I would love to go to, besides the ones I just named for you, like Disney World, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Universal Studios in Florida, and all the theme parks here in, in California, whether it's Six Flags, Disneyland, uh, California Adventure, you know, Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm. Those types of things, those types of places are places that I miss most of all of everything that I used to do outside. When I went outside, those were the most fun thing, most fun things for me to do personally. Now, not, I'm not saying every single human being on this planet likes theme parks or likes roller coasters or likes the foods at theme parks, theme parks. They just exist. And if you... I'm not saying you have to agree with me on this topic or agree with me on anything at all. I just miss the 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 adrenaline, the the roller coaster theme of things. Like when I went on Tower of Terror when it was still Tower of Terror in California Adventure, that was that was just a big ginormous adrenaline rush because you're going up and down, up and down, and it was awesome. And now it's it's. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy ride, which is just as awesome. It's the exact same style of ride. It, it goes up and down, up and down. And I would love, I, I mean, there's new things that you know, Disney is putting in their parks every single year. I mean, when Star Wars Land opened up in Disneyland, I didn't get to go. And that was back in 2018, 2019, something like that. We're, we're getting closer and closer to 2021. And Marvel Land, or Marvel Academy, was is probably going to be finished by the time we actually get to be able to go back to Disneyland and California Adventure and all that stuff. So I would love nothing more to, to do that in 2020. Maybe go to a few amusement parks in 2020, whether it's going to... Universal Studios, whether it's going to Disneyland, whether it's going to California Adventure, you know, going to Knott's Berry Farm again, you know, those, those things. That would be fun for me, at least. I don't know if you guys like it, because I don't know if I'd be filming a whole lot of stuff. Like, 
so, like Splash Mountain, even though it doesn't exist anymore, that was a great ride. It, it's called something else now, and you know, and the Haunted Mansion, that's a great ride as well. You know, Pirates of the Caribbean. I could go on and on of all the great rides that Disneyland has. You know, and even California Adventure, they have Soaring Over California, or not California, Soaring Over the World now. And, you know, the Grizzly Water Ride that they have in, in California Adventure. And, I mean, there's just so many great rides that they have, you know, in both parks, both Disneyland and Disneyland is more of a full day type of park thing that you could do. California Adventure is more of a half day type of adventure. Maybe a three quarters of the day adventure. I don't know because I haven't been in quite, in like, I want to say like two or three years maybe. Maybe a little bit longer than that. I would love nothing more to go back there and experience all these rides again. And see how they're different. And go to a cantina in, in, in Disneyland on the Star Wars land. And do all of the rides that I haven't done in quite some time. Because that's, what's, that's what, you know, excites me. Now that I'm 31, going to be 32 in like, what is it, 7 months from now? I know 7 months is a long time from now. I just feel like I need to experience that, you know, that that fun, that excitement, that adrenaline, if you will, again. And I know it's not going to happen until we get, you know, we find a cure and we can get, and we can, you know, diminish the whole, you know, COVID-19, coronavirus stuff that's going on in the world right now. And I did see... I did see this, that they might be reopening the park soon, but they might be doing it under capacity because it could get crazy for Disneyland and California Adventure. So I might just wait until, let's say, middle of, of summer sometime next year or maybe at the end of summer, the beginning of fall. That's when the best time would be to go or sometime in the spring when, you know, school's are in session, but who knows if that's actually going to happen. I'd love nothing more to go back to Universal Studios in California because they have that new whole new Potter area, Potterland area that they built in 2015, 2016. And that should, that could be something fun to go and do. You know, I'm thinking outside the box here. I'm thinking about what I could do out in the real world that I really miss. But like going to Disney Disneyland and California Adventure and Disney World and and you know Universal Studios and Knott's Berry Farm if you know what that is, all of those types of things because that's what I love. That's what I want to be able to do again. Not not just I, mostly for myself, but if I could film it, I would show it to you guys. Anyways, that's all I've got for today, today's vlog. I'm going to wish Sydney Sweeney a happy birthday today on this 12th day of September. And anyone else who has a birthday on this 12th day of September, happy birthday to you. And I will see you tomorrow on the 13th day of September. Y'all know the drill. Keep it real. And bye-bye.